Q gapit is an Indonesian Q curing dry snack which originates from Siriban, West Java. Generally made from tapioca flour, its name comes from the cooking process, in which it is grilled between iron molds like a waffle. The snack comes in a variety of shapes and flavors. Though it is a popular souvenir among visitors to Siriban, residents of the region rarely eat it. Preparation One recipe for Q Gapit from the Indonesian magazine Femina calls for wheat and rice flour, chicken eggs, coconut water, salt, sugar, and cinnamon. The egg is first beaten, then the cinnamon and sugar is mixed in. Once it has been absorbed by the mixture, the flour and salt is added, and this concoction is mixed further. After adding the coconut water, a tablespoon of the mixture is added to iron molds and grilled between them until cooked. This is repeated until the mixture is used up. The resulting Q are then stored for later consumption. Generally, however, tapioca is used rather than this mix of flours. The Q can be eaten on its own, or as a side dish. Numerous flavors are available, including chocolate, sesame seed, cheese, ginger, prawn, and balado, spicy. Additional flavorings are added during the mixing process. The molds come in a variety of shapes and sizes, though those with waffle-like square patterns are common. Molds with space for more than one Q are available. Description The name gapit comes from the cooking process, in which the Q are cooked between iron molds, this is known as mengapit in Indonesian. Q gapit can be differentiated from semprong and simping, which are prepared in a similar fashion, by its size. Whereas simping, which originates from perwikarta, is large and thin, gapit is smaller and thicker, the cakes are traditional in the Siriban area of West Java. Other snacks from the region include lantik, ladu, doplak, klitik, and intip guningjati. Q gapit is frequently purchased as a souvenir, ole ole, and production is a common source of income in the region. In the lead up to Lebaran, sales are known to double. However, the local residents of Siriban rarely eat the Q. The Siriban Post attributes this to a lack of knowledge of the food's heritage value and the ready availability of factory produced snacks. See also Wafer Waffle References